What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. One day I promise I will be able to match my foundation to my neck, but until then, here's the rest of this video. So before I get into the review, I'm gonna ask you guys to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also go follow me on Instagram at Erin Heartbreak. I will be showcasing before and after photos wearing skims, so it's definitely gonna be interesting, but let's just get right into this review. So I picked up a shapewear bra and underwear. I am not a shapewear person. I have worn them once in my life, and it was just because my outfit was pretty see-through. I don't feel like I've ever really needed to suck anything in, but once I put on this shapewear, my life was changed. I did not know that I needed this so badly. It literally sucked everything in. I almost didn't think I was gonna get it past my thighs and it went on, thank the Lord, nothing ripped and it fit. So I picked up the Sheer Sculpt bodysuit in a size small. Everything that I purchased was a different shade of nude. I definitely like this shade, but I cannot explain the material. It was unexplainable, obviously, <laughs> as I go to try and explain it. I could not figure it the hell out, but it works, and that's all you need to know. So I tried on this bodycon dress with and without shapewear, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on before. So I don't have a flat stomach whatsoever. You can definitely see it sticking out a little bit. Then you see like my butt popping out a little bit, and my boobs are just whatever. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like wearing the shapewear and the bra. So I haven't shown you the bra yet, but this is what it looks like with both items on. Wild, like so freaking wild. My boobs are basically touching my chin. Everything is really sucked in, so I have more of a waist, and my stomach does look a little bit flatter once the item is on. You cannot see any lines around my thighs. The straps were not showing. It really did everything it was supposed to. So next I'm gonna get into the bra and it was the t-shirt push-up bra that I picked up that you just saw when I was wearing the bodycon. So I will show you guys what it looks like without a bra on, with my old t-shirt bra on, and then with this as a comparison. And you're gonna be like, what the hell? That is absolutely wild. When I tried this bra on, I just kept looking in the mirror and saying, you're never going to Victoria's Secret again. Like never spending another dime at Victoria's Secret because this bra is just life changing. When I picked up the bra for the first time, it does have a seamless padding. So everything just flows inside the cup. You don't feel like a really giant bump as far as padding goes either. And the material is thick across the board. This material is completely different than the shapewear. So is the underwear I picked up. So she definitely took her time with picking these and testing them out because they fit perfectly for what they're supposed to be doing. The last item is a little bit more difficult to showcase because it's a thong. So I picked up the dip thong in a size small and it was the shade Mica. So I definitely think the bra was just way too white for me. It's pretty much this shade and that was in sand. It was just way too white. I definitely think mica and clay are more my speed, but the thong was very thin. When I picked it up out of the package, I honestly felt like I was touching my other finger. It was the weirdest feeling in the world. You can barely feel the material. So when you're wearing it, you feel like you're not wearing anything either. And that is everything and more. To showcase these underwear, I put on a very thin, very tight bandage skirt for you guys. And as you can see, there are no lines. You don't see another color. The underwear really do a perfect job of making sure you can still wear underwear without seeing the lines or shades, which is exactly what you want when you're going out. So overall, I was completely blown away by the undergarments. I definitely think the undergarments are more my speed. I'm not gonna return it and I'm definitely gonna wear it, but I don't see me repurchasing the shapewear but the thong and bra blew me away. I'm really happy there's another competitor on the market because I feel like everyone goes to Victoria's Secret and I have their seamless underwear and they don't work. They're very thick, they really only come in a couple tones, so I'm happy that Kim did something other than shapewear with the undergarments. I also wanna point out the packaging. It was very, very minimal. When I picked it up off my doorstep, I honestly didn't know what it was until I opened it up because it was just very, very plain and I like that. I feel like too much money is wasted on packaging and you're just tossing it out anyways. So definitely save where you can, recycle. Hey guys, that is going to be it for my KKW Skims review. If you have picked up any pieces, let me know in the comment section down below what pieces you picked up, what shade, are you loving them as much as I am or are you just hating them and have a complete different point of view than I do. I can't wait to see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye everyone.